G'day everyone, Raid Zero AU, and welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival in Alpha 9 Experimental Branch. And um, something that was mentioned in the comments by Solo Spirit, I believe, uh, was that I hadn't actually activated the weight volume uh, mechanic in it. Now, it needs to be you need to bear in mind that specifically stated in the patch notes they have stated that they did not activate that as default because it still requires some balancing and some work uh, even though the mechanic is actually in there so what I've done is I've restarted the game and I have now activated that just so that we can have a look at it while I'm playing through and it does make Quite a bit of difference uh, so what I've done is I've played through to where we were up to so I'm here at the uh, wreckage and the main difference that I've found is this volume indicator down here and the mass indicator most things not too bad mass one kilo four kilos volume 4.5 most of these things no problem these are 0.5 but when it comes to, and I'm just I'm crafting a, uh, a pistol here and a few bullets. When it comes to ore, this is where it really starts to. So three silicon ore there, mass eight kilos, volume twenty liters, and you find you very quickly start to fill this up when you mining out ore so it's something we need to be careful of and it may not so much may but it will probably have an effect on how i approach the start to the game so i'm just going to wait for that just to finish crafting and we will get moving as you can see it wants us to uh mine some ore so we'll be looking at that Okay, so here we go. So as I said, the uh, main thing there is with the volume of, on the ores. And now I've crafted a pistol and a shotgun. You can see there the aim down sights on them. It does have a bit of a uh, bit of recoil. This one has the uh, dot there, a little bit of recoil on it, not too bad. But as was mentioned also in the uh, comments, you should be able to use this to harvest some wood. And we can, we'll need wood for, oh, we got one of those bugs over there, just there. Don't really want to mess with him at the moment. We do need the wood for nitrous cellulose for making ammo. And also fibre to make biofuel. So I'm going to drill some rocks while we're doing this as well. In fact, no, I'm not because our aim here is to get 10 iron ore, 10 copper ore, 10 silicon ore. Now, question is, can we actually do that with this new volume thing? Hopefully. So how much have we got on us? 195 at the moment. So it's nine liters. Mm. All right. Just started off. Go to our drone. Right, it's not too far down, so we're already digging into it. Come on, give us some more. There we go. There's that. So you can see that's already used 375. 
So we're just going to grab what we need from that for the moment so I can here be careful of these bugs because they will attack you we've got a lot of rocks lying around I couldn't grab anywhere near the amount of rocks I did on the first run through simply because of that limitation and it will let you uh, it'll let you mine it but it will just drop it on the ground and it disappears after three minutes so well that's not what I wanted yeah. Right, silicon's always tends to prove me wrong now, but it always tends to be a little bit harder to mine. Generally smaller deposits. Sometimes a bit deeper. Yeah, it's not too bad. pick up inventory full there we go and we only managed to pick up another five so that means we're gonna have to head back Did have it making some more biofuel. Chances are, um, I don't know whether because I grabbed the wood first, whether that's had an effect on it. Whether you can actually hold 10 of each. Oh, we got spider incoming. Hello. Go in there. Might as well make you into one of those. Got a bit more biofuel there. You go in there. I'll pop all of that in there. Some of this is going to perish. There's not much we can do about it at this stage. We might as well tell that to make more biofuel now that we've got this wood log, these wood logs in here. We'll try and use, not use up too many of those. Delete that. All right, off we go again. So I think what this is now going to do is initially in the game used to be basically start off and go straight for a base. But I'm thinking now the, f the first thing we're going to want is some sort of hover vessel with some cargo space on it. So that we can come out, mine some stuff, and uh, and transport it back. Right, almost there. What have we got? Thirty six. that one up there we go we've completed that one the copper one now we are going to need some more iron definitely because uh, we're going to need if we're going to use a um, well, then again we might be able to get away without having to mine anymore we'll see how we go 
We're going to need some blocks. The tutorial we've, we're doing at the moment is um, just going here. Basic building. So it's going to want us to build a shelter, but I actually think that's probably not right at the moment with the new mechanic in it, but. So you see that's 449 that's all I've got on me so probably needs to you need a base to sleep in here or build to build a base you'll need some wood whoops it's fallen in all right wants us to build a wooden base does it not too sure about that on hard but I guess we'll follow it. We'll follow this tutorial and see how it goes. Uh, it's not the first thing I'd be going for, that's for sure. Absolute minimum I'd be looking to uh, craft out of would be cement. But I guess we'll Oh hello. You got you brought some friends back. Or you're looking for your friend that I killed before. You coming? Any more of your friends around? And this says you're close to a structure that you can do material transmissions. I've not found a way of doing that here because you can't access any of the containers. So well, that's okay. Uh, once again, we'll queue those up. We will just turn that off for a sec and cancel those. You can make that. We want to make chainsaw. Cut tree and pick up wood logs. All right. We've still got a decent number of wood logs there. The chainsaw is more effective and more fun. But that got eighteen minute perish time on it. Might as well eat, Might as well eat that then. So it's certainly going to make the starts a little bit slower I'm thinking if it's if it wants us to make a base I'm thinking we head down here somewhere
You'll notice there on the map down the bottom here how display POIs and structures, resource deposits you can decide. Territory view, Xerox Talon plus no build zone. So this is Talon up here. Got Xerox down here. So I haven't found Polaris yet. Luckily this stuff it's in this area here is not within any of these borders if you mine within the borders or you start taking resources and things like that from those within the territories you will lose faction with that or lose reputation with that faction i should say so well, you must be just about done <laughs> Yes. Okay. Right. Let's go grab a treat. Reload it. Now it would be a good idea to start building a base for yourself, Commander. Okay. All right, we'll see where this leads us. I've certainly done a bit of work on the tutorial, which is good for new players. So we need a base starter and it wants us to build 20 wood blocks. So place that down and then place blocks around core. Okay. And we'll do this just out here, I suppose. I might do is just clear. Oh, hello. You just don't learn. You like, don't you have collective mind or something like that? But you are keeping me fed, which is a positive. So I guess we just do it around here somewhere. If necessary, we can join it up with that. Had this issue before where these showers locked. But basically, they're not actually locked. Obviously, just a bit of a bug. that so we'll keep grabbing a few trees from around the place just doing some clearing still got that bug around here some of these over here because we're gonna need the uh, gonna need the biofuel with that in mind it's almost worthwhile doing a second survival constructor
Who are we going for? Um, by level three. Not too far away, but from four, uh, from level four. Do need to get to level five to uh, unlock armor, so we can then make the light armor. So you see there, all the stuff that was showing us locked down here. I don't know whether the padlock means anything there, or whether it just means locked and it is just a bug in the uh, in the user interface. They had me confused to start off with. Oh, just disappeared. I just, I don't know, that's because I hadn't made it. What was that? Got some wood blocks. That's what we're doing. See, that's got a padlock on it as well. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Well, I changed some of the models for um, which ones are these again? These will be the Talon. See, so you, you see the new level thing there. Three. He's a level three. He's lower. Yeah, he's just a level one. So I wonder if these change colour as they level up. There's a, no, no, because he's a level three. So. We could kill these guys, but at the moment I'm a bit loath to do anything like that because I'm just interested in the uh, faction system. Theoretically, it would be possible to become friendly with the Xerax. So, and in that case, you'd be able to walk into the base, the drone bases, and they shouldn't shoot at you. Which is an interesting concept. All right, you're about to be finished. Good. Okay. Wait, another one of you. Uh, okay, so shift click isn't moving those into your toolbar. Might need to be fixed. All right, so here's the new model of the core. Okay. Right, so it wants us to I assume it asked us to do twenty for a reason. Guess we'll find out. No, we've only got one left. We've got two that side, two that side, two that side, so we need another four. Should be enough now to do that. Why didn't that complete? Hmm. 
Let's squeeze through there. Ah, uh, maybe it wants one on the top to cover the core. Okay, well, let's give that a go. See if that's what it wants for it to complete. Uh, let's have a look at our blocks here. Let's... <laughs> All right, we're getting cold. This one here, I'm going to drop it down into there. Let's just make number more. Let's find it interesting that we've got a light even though we don't have the uh, spacesuit. But and there. Okay. We can go there and we'll pop one more just down there. Just so we've got a ramp. Now, is that what you wanted? You wanted me to do that? No. Place blocks around core. Well, that's exactly what I've done. Unless it wants one underneath it as well. Hmm. Oh, don't do that. It's the one that completely surrounded. Let's say one, two, three, uh, 20 of them would be one, two, three. Eighteen. I'm not going to be able to get out of here now, am I? Alright. <sighs> oh, hypothermia. Let's get in here. Need <sighs> that. <sighs> no, I want this out down under here. Can I use that to actually get it down there? Still not completing, is it? Okay. 
Alright, going back in. Alright. So. Oh, jeez, food. Can I craft any food? Not really. <sighs> All right, food's now an issue. As is the cold. We can't really afford to go out in the cold at this stage. So, I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode, guys. And I'm thinking that we may have to start that base thing again. Let's see. I'm thinking maybe it wants... I'm just trying to work out how 20 blocks works with that. I don't know. We'll see if we can work it out in the next episode. But I hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid0AU, signing out.